Welcome back to the channel, guys. As you can see, my hitch receiver has quite a bit of uh, surface rust. Good old New England weather. Um, so today I'm going to be taking this, getting the rust off of it, converting the rust, and coating it a nice black finish to hopefully last many more years. And here are the products that I'll be using today. Have the Rust-Oleum Rust Dissolver, gel form. I'll be liberally coating all the rust with this and giving it a good grind to get all the little sediments off, chunks of rust, everything with this wire brush attachment from my drill and finishing it off with some steel it coating. I've used steel it in the past with great results, uh, so I can't wait to see how this comes out. All right, let's get started. All right, so first thing, I'm gonna take this, go through it, get off uh, a lot of the chips, expose a lot of the rust, so that I can use the rust dissolver to really get in there. Okay, as you can see, that takes a good amount of the rust off. Got most of the chips out, cleaned it up. Now we're going to be using the rust dissolver. And you really want to be liberal with this. Spray it everywhere. Really work it in there with the gloves after. Because this is what's really gonna help convert that rust into a very clean paintable surface. So yeah, we'll go ahead and let this sit for 30 minutes and do the next step. Alright, so you can see I heavily coated this, got into all the little nooks and crannies where all the rust is forming. Um, a few minutes in, it's already converting a lot of it, especially the thin surface rust into a very clean paintable surface. Um, I'll let it sit the full 30 minutes. I'll come back and probably spray lightly again and use the wire brush to get it even more penetrated into the uh, nooks and crannies. Um, yeah, so we'll let it sit for 30 minutes and have at it again. All right, guys, it's been about about a half hour. Uh, I'm gonna quickly kind of recoat. Looks like most of it stayed on. And then I'm gonna hit it with this again to try to really get into everything. Make sure all the rust is very penetrated with the uh, rust dissolver spray. So here we go.
All right, so we'll go ahead and let this sit for another 20 to 30 minutes. And I'll come back, spray it all down with water, get it nice and clean, and let it fully dry for the steel it coating. All right, hang tight. All right, now that the rust reformer has had time to get into all the rust and convert it, I'm gonna go ahead and just spray with warm water all over the surface where the rust reformer was to clean it up. Another thing I can do for these rust spots before I put the steel it on, I could get a rust reformer paint. And that will do a good job. Um, I'm going to look into some options here. All right. So yeah, it's nice and dry now. Um, you can still see a lot of the rust on here. It's not too bad, but I definitely want to get all that off, converted and changed. So picked up a new 60 grit flappy. I'm gonna hit that up. Put some more of the rust reformer converter on. And then I'm gonna spray the hard to reach areas way up here and stuff with this Rust-Oleum Rust Reformer before putting on the steel it. And hopefully that will be enough to get rid of all the rust for at least the winter, I'm hoping. So, here we go again. So after the flappy disc, that made a huge difference. Um, I'm still not completely satisfied, but I'm gonna go ahead and use the the rust converter again and um, let it sit for another 30 minutes. And hopefully that's enough and I am satisfied with it. And I'll go ahead and let it air dry completely before starting the paint process. So extra step but I think it's gonna make a big difference so we'll see so I just finished up the second coat of the rust converter and I can already see it eating away some of the rust that I just grinded up so that's good I'll let this sit for another full 30 minutes and uh, see how it looks after I clean it up with some water go from there all right so I went ahead and washed it off a of video you can still see quite a bit of rust but I'm hoping the rust reformer spray will encapsulate most of it and then I'll scuff it up again after I prime it and put on some steel it and hopefully it'll last the winter only time will tell but it definitely looks a hell of a lot better than it did when I started this project. 
All right, guys, so it is morning. It's just 50 degrees here in New England, so don't really want to paint, but I have to. Um, I'm going to hit it with a couple coats of the Rust Reformer uh, spray paint and then hit it with some Steel It. So first will be the Rust Reformer, let it dry, do another quick little coat here and there to get into the tough places and uh, then I'll hit it with some Steel It after a quick scuff. So, all right, let's get it going. All right guys, so I went back, found a bunch of chips that I wanted to just get out and I didn't feel it was necessary to hit it again with the uh, rust converter. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start spraying it up with the rust reformer spray here. All right guys, so this is fresh after the rust reformer spray. Decently happy of, with how it came out. Um, gonna let this sit for some time. It says 24 hours, but I don't have that amount of time, so I'm gonna do it until it's, uh, you know, it looks pretty good, looks nice and dry give it a scuff and then probably hit it with some steel it. I know you're supposed to put steel it on bare metal, but um, I felt like I really needed to get some rust reformer on there, so I'm glad I did it. Um, yeah, and uh, I'll update you guys once it dries. Uh, continue the process. All right guys, so it's fully dried. I am ultra pumped with how that uh, Rust-Oleum Rust Reformer uh, converted the rust, covered the rust. It looks really good. I've done this once before and uh, the results weren't half as good. So I am really pumped that I put that stuff on. I'm gonna go ahead and scuff it with a light grit just to uh, scrape it up a little bit before putting on the steel it coating. Um, and then uh, do another coat, maybe three, and that's that. So here we go. All right, here is the steel coating. This is like a little sample spray can I got from them a while ago. I'm gonna go ahead and use this first before the big can I got, but um, yeah. It looks really good, like I'm pumped about how good it came out. So we're gonna hit it with this and uh, hit it again after. Yeah, steal it for the win. This looks really good right now. Really pumped about it. Um, we'll be hitting it with another coat. I put it on heavy, you know, whatever. It looks really good, so we'll see how it goes. All right, guys, so it is finished. Um, I didn't take a video of putting the final coats of steel it on because it was too late and I could not see anything. But um, yeah, I'm really pumped about how it came out. Um, the rust reformer worked pretty well, covering up some of the rust that I could not really get to and tight nooks and everything. It looks like it's gonna hold up very well. I don't know if anybody watching has ever used steel it, but I mean, this stuff is is super durable um, I'm expecting it to last much longer than the other paint job did on this thing so um, yeah overall 
pretty happy with how it came out and uh, I'll eventually post an update after winter and we can see how it looks. All right, thanks for uh, watching and if you guys have any questions, feel free to let me know either on YouTube or my Instagram at Northeast Yoda. Thanks for tuning in.